Hi YouTube. I was looking at some of my old videos. Boy, do I have a lot of old videos. You guys have no idea. Oh, I don't know if you can see the... He made me a, a pipe stand out of a piece of bark and stuff. And uh, it was just an old Danny Shore deal. You know, a lot of us got uh, fun things from him. Anyway, that was, this isn't a video about him. This is a video about me. What? Say hi to Danny. So, you all know, when I get caffeined up and nicotined up, I can move the world. Well, almost. What I did this morning was I got up and went swimming at 6 o'clock and then I went outside. And uh, I'm not happy about the dogs getting under the deck. So I took and put chicken wire around the deck and I made a temporary uh, fence so that... Uh, mm, that was already lit put a temporary fence up and it's really kind of cute because I put it up on I'll show you later I used pitchforks as the poles so it, it's a temporary but by putting those pitchforks in there and having that um, the fencing go around those pitchforks it, it's really kind of cute so it turned out to be very, it turned out better than I thought it would sometimes you have these ideas in your head and they just come out wonderful and then other times it's like what were you thinking, girl? What were you thinking? I'm smoking a pipe. It is a Belgian pipe. It is, um... Uh, hmm. I don't know. Isn't that terrible? I just loaded it, so... I haven't had a good tamp on it yet. I'll show you guys and see if you guys can forget who it is because I say some people like to know I'm just not that big of a pipe snob. <laughs> I am a name is Sue Dunhill and I'm not a pipe snob. Jeez, Sue. No one's ever going to believe I'm not a pipe snob. But anyway, so um, I don't know what you guys do for, for fun, but that was just kind of one of the things I was doing this morning. Like I say, got up, put chicken wire under the deck. I got a, a temporary fence in. I went swimming. Uh, I scrubbed off the deck. I took and weed eat it around the deck because it's a pretty good sized deck and stuff. And all of that was before 10 o'clock. So those of you who don't uh, understand the wonders and the magic of caffeine and nicotine, you're missing out on my world. <laughs> if I wasn't a nicotine and a caffeine kind of person, um, I would be so asleep all the time, I think. You know, I could, probably could do with less of one of them. I'm just not sure which one I would give up. And on top of all that, I was snuffing, too. I mean, like, you know, going swimming, it's kind of hard to to uh, smoke first because it kind of compresses my lungs a little bit. So, uh... Before uh, before I went swimming, I was doing a bunch of uh, snuff. So, you know, I had my cup of coffee going and my snuff going, and, and I'm climbing into my swimsuit, and, and then I'm hitting the water and back out of the water into the... I'll tell you, the hardest part is getting back into your suit. Oh, because that's another story. Uh, so... I went swimming this morning, and I forgot to take my towel and stuff with me. So I basically just have my my dress on, and um, in that pipe, I am smoking some uh, Sherlock Choice. And then in uh, the Dunhill, I am smoking 965. And in this one, which I've just got loaded, it's a nice little pole mole. I just got it loaded. I like it because it's such a small bowl. Uh, this has got some champagne in it. Champagne is from, um, I think it's a, a it says HBS or HES. I thought that was something we got from John's there in uh, St. Louis. Or, anyway, well, I'm wrong about what that is, aren't I? Uh, anyway, so that's what's in the, this one. It's in champagne. So. So today I'm going to be 
a sleuth, Sherlock. <laughs> Nine sixty-five normal, and then I'm gonna have champagne later. <laughs> it sounds like a a fun day, doesn't it? Well, so I gotta get gear. It is uh, almost eleven o'clock, and so I uh, gotta get going with my rest of the day. You guys have a good day. Happy, happy, joy, joy. You know I'm watching you. <laughs> I got. Uh, I was talking about southern, how my mother was southern and stuff. And one of my uh, one of my comments from the last one was that it was a, uh, it was nice to you know hear the the southern drawl and stuff again and. Uh, that he did watch my video, but he had to listen quick because for the most part I talk pretty quick And I think that has to do with the nicotine and caffeine, don't you? Of course, it could be wrong I don't know. I've never known why I talk so quick But sometimes I'll talk a lot quicker than others and then they think I've speeded up the the video And I haven't speeded up the video. It's just one of the ways I talk I just talk fast sometimes but I do get a lot of calls because I talk to the people about coming into the community center because it used to be a railroad so I have to do this little speech for them and I tell them how it was built in 1881 but it was really went into service in 1888 because there was coal cars and the coal cars kept burning down the buildings because the buildings were put in coal or in wood and so of course the coals would set them on fire so finally in 1888 some woman honest to god a woman said let's put it into brick and, and uh sandstone uh so they built it in sandstone and that was in 19 68 we got it from the Grenamar family but it wasn't the Grenamar family it was another family by then and we got money from the U.S. government and when we had got the money from the government we built on the pool and we built on the gym and we also built on the Riverview room which is one of the big uh, party rooms so uh, usually when I start talking about the history of the community center which I love I love my town I love the community center and stuff but I would love any town I live in and so this is is who I am I am uh, always embedded in where I am at that moment where you're at right now is the most important place You're going to be in your life. So live in the moment. Oh, that was another lecture for no reason. I'm sorry guys uh, anyway, so um, I Like Leavenworth and so uh, I get excited about it and, and when I get excited about something I talk pretty fast So did you keep up? <laughs> There's gonna be a test later Happy, happy, joy, joy. You know I'm watching you.